Uh, welcome everyone, welcome to another vlog, another video of uh, Bookies Auto Detailing. Today we'll be working on this beautiful Porsche 911 GTS. Let's have a quick look at what we've got to work with. A quick look at the interior, uh, leather seats obviously, being a Porsche and all. Uh, it is not really in that much of a state, it just needs uh, leather cleaning, conditioning and an interior vac. It's not so dirty, uh, it's actually quite well look looked after. And on to the exterior, uh, the rims are quite dirty and seem to be ceramic coated. Uh, the 911 didn't have uh, any uh, massive marring or swell marks. A few scratches here and there that we were able to polish out. Right, first things first, we tackle the wheels. Uh, using an array of wheel brushes, uh, we actually uh, just got uh, a new set of wool wheelies that we were testing out. Right, firstly, we spray uh, the rims with uh, Gloss Wax Iron R. This is to uh, break down any wheel dust, uh, any brake dust, any contaminants that are on the wheels. We always start cleaning the, the rims uh, from the valve cap. Gives you an indication of where to start and where you ended. Next, uh, a quick but thorough cleaning of the brake calipers. Uh, we just want to make sure that the red pops out. And then next, uh, we clean the face of the rim using a soft bristle wheel brush. Like I had said before, uh, these wheels had actually been ceramic coated. So we don't want to compromise the strength of the ceramic coating by actually uh, deeply agitating the rims. So just a uh, soft, but thorough cleaning uh, will suffice. And then using a microfiber cloth, uh, we clean the back of the rim. Uh, the brushes are quite good, but they don't get uh, to those nooks and crannies. So a good microfiber cloth uh, will do the job. Unfortunately, uh, the, the manual pump that I've always been complaining about decided to pack up, it started leaking. So we had to clean the, the tires manually uh, using the, the APC and the, the other detergents uh, without actually uh, a foam pump. And then after that, we give the rim a quick rinse down. And onto the contact wash, uh, we quickly give the vehicle a rinse down. This is to loosen up any dirt and just to remove as much uh, dust as possible without actually the contact wash. And then after that, we form the vehicle using a foam cannon and uh, using the shield decontaminating shampoo. Uh, the shield decon shampoo is actually quite good. It breaks down any protection, any sealants, waxes that could be on the paint. Uh, it makes it easy when you start uh, the compounding. Uh, you'll be actually working on the on the paint without any protection whatsoever. We'll just use the paint, the clear, and the machine. And then you give the vehicle a good four to five minutes, allowing the soap. Uh, to lift any dirt as it's dripping down, uh, making it safer for you when you start with the contact brush. And this is the perfect time for you to clean the, the window rubbers using a detail brush. Then on to the contact wash using the two bucket wash method, one bucket with shampoo, the other with clean rinsing water. Uh, you wash one panel, 
rinse the wash mitt, dunk the same uh, wash mitt into the bucket with shampoo, clean a panel, rinse and so on and so forth. It's quite easy. It is the safest option to begin washing the vehicle from the top down as the, the bottom is actually filled uh, with a lot of contaminants and dirt and you don't want to risk uh, scratching the vehicle using the dirt that you would actually encounter on the bottom of the vehicle. And then after the contact wash, uh, you just have to rinse the vehicle down. Then the drying stage, I use a combination of a microfiber and a air blower. I prefer using a microfiber, but uh, there's areas where the water actually cannot be dried up using a microfiber cloth. This is where the air blower comes into play. Uh, it blows out the air that is hiding in all those hard to reach places like beneath the mirrors and between the window sills. And when you have to mask those areas, uh, it makes it a living nightmare. So the air dryer is actually quite a, a very important tool to have as a detailer. As soon as uh, the vehicle was bone dry, I taped off some, some rubbers by the windows so that uh, when I start with the polishing, I don't damage. Then I used the Menzena 3-in-1. Like I had indicated before, uh, the 911 wasn't in that much of a state, but there were some scratches here and there that needed some polish work. And the vehicle actually did benefit greatly from a single step uh, uh, paint enhancement. And these are the results of a single step uh, paint enhancement, interior cleaning, and a sealant application. Let's have a quick look at the interior. Uh, it was cleaned and the leathers were conditioned. Oh, this 911 actually uh, it came out very brilliantly uh, 
The video isn't doing it any justice. Uh, the owner of the vehicle was actually over himself uh, as he had just bought the vehicle. And I think it was the first time, as he says, that he, he saw it, uh, the 911 in this condition. Yeah, guys, uh, we're nearing the end of the video. And if you like what you see, uh, please uh, subscribe, share if you can. Uh, hit a like here. And yeah, man, thanks. Uh, just give us feedback of what you think of how the vehicle turned out uh, in the comment section. And once again, thank you for tuning in up until now. Double time call.